Hi oh, guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. Just loaded me motorcycle ramps and me tie down straps. Heading down to the local Honda dealer tomorrow. Checking out a brand new Honda Grom. See what it's like. They got a, um, a new blue one in stock and I think it's called Blue Raspberry. And uh, He said I could come down and take a look at it. Won't let me take it for a run but he said I'm quite welcome to have a look at it. So I've been thinking lately whether to buy one of the Groms or a, a monkey bike but I think the Grom might be alright for uh, something to do something a little bit different so we'll take the run down there tomorrow see what it's like if it's any good later into the back of the van bring around so we'll see what happens so we'll catch up with you later on on tomorrow's run we're at the uh, Honda dealer now we're over here coming here to have a look at this Honda Grom and we'll see what it looks like we'll check her out now not a bad looking bike. Bit smaller than I imagined, but apart from that, looks like not a bad looking colour. You want to um, sit on it, Jill? Yeah. <laughs> you reckon? It's smaller than the white one, isn't it? The one the daughter's got. Oh. So that's what the uh, little grum looks like. Might get on it myself and try it. Oh, my grandson would love this. You reckon? Yeah. Sonny would love it. The little grom? Yeah. What about the sitting position? The check, the, the, the seat, right? The seat. I would like to see the handlebars up higher. Yeah. That's... Well, sure if that grom's for me, but this Suzuki TF125 might be. So it's a new bike, not sure of the price yet, but I'm just waiting for a price on this one and uh, don't mind the look of this bike at all, so it's a brand new bike. Doesn't appear to have electric start, just a carby job, 125. I think I could have a bit of fun on that one, got a bad looking seat on it. Got a bad colour. Yeah, so overall, the blue seat, white and blue trim. When I sat on that Grom, which I was thinking of buying, I think I'd have to have bar risers to bring it up a little bit, because I'm sort of leaning forward, very similar to the KDN 390 I had, but this TF125 Suzuki, naturally seems it's got indicators, it looks like to me it can be road registered here in Australia. So. This might be a goer, so I might just find out the price of this bike and maybe do a quick bit of research on it and see whether or not it's a proposition to buy. Looks like, to me, apart from it's an ag type bike, it's got a kick side, it side stands on both sides. We've got one there, we've got one down here. We've got headlight protectors. Handguard protectors. Yeah. I could see me buying this. And what sort of money they want for it. So I might go in and find out and see what the damage is on this one. But overall, not a bad looking bike. The Honda Grom come in at 4000 right away. Now the only thing I'm thinking about, they want to speak to the dealer about it and he said if I want to, you can always fit bar risers. So I did a bit of a check when I got home and I could probably pick up a pair of them for about $200, so, you know, um, from what I've read on reports, all age groups buy those Groms, so that's an option there to think about if I want to go back and buy that. So uh, at this stage I'm just thinking on that one. Now, the one I really liked the best was possibly that Suzuki TF125, 
and when I spoke to him, you know, the price was really good, like $3,000, but there was a drawback. That bike is in compliance in Australia, so therefore you can't register the bike, so I'd have to buy the bike unregistered, so from my point of view there, I'd be just wasting $3,000 on that one just to buy a bike that I can't really ride on the road, and I never will be able to ride on the road, so uh, that wipes that one out. So uh, I got a bit sidetracked there and I haven't been out testing the windscreen because I've been fooling around with this idea whether I'm going to buy two cheap bikes for around about 12500 or just buy one good one again. So I'm being tied up with that idea at the moment and that's why I haven't been out on the windscreen thing. But uh, there's a couple of other bikes I'm looking at so we'll see what happens further down the track. But in the meantime... This package arrived when I got back home from the dealer yesterday, and it's from Trip Machine. Okay, so we'll rip the box open and uh, have a look inside, and you've probably guessed by now, and let's have a look at it. So it's, it's a really well presented tool roll, and when I ordered this I think it cost me around about $100 Australian, which isn't a great deal of money, so you never know what, when you buy something for 100 what you're actually getting. But I could only get in in this tan colour and it didn't matter much because I'm only going to put tools in it and uh, all the black ones were sold out so that cut that idea out. But when you see it presented by me, this is possibly, well the a mosquito, this is probably the best presented item I've seen come in from anyone and it appears to be a really good quality one too. So when you, apart from remove all these thank you stickers and everything else, and like I said this is a really good quality box it comes in and a really good quality item and a really good price so when you actually see it for a hundred bucks it really is a nice unit all over really good quality so um, I don't know whether I'd get I suppose it wouldn't matter much but whether it was brown or black on this bike but uh, I'll just see if I can open her up then we can have a look inside it see how it looks in the package so we'll pull her out nice and heavy good quality looks apart so when you take a look it's got really good quality buckles now we'll open her up And it says real adventures begins when things go wrong. Well, I hope I don't experience that because I'm in no hurry to do that one. But apart from that, everything else looks good in here. There so you've got areas here for, I don't know, maybe some sort of suspenders. Areas for screwdrivers, whatever. More areas up here maybe for pliers or something like that. It appears to be a zippered area for maybe spare cash notes. So overall, I don't know, I think I'll be able to put this to some use. But anyway, I'll go into that further on when I actually get out and put this on the bike and uh, with something else is arriving to it, I'll hopefully match it a bit better. But I just thought I'd show you what arrived today and for that sort of money. So if you have to look at trip machine on the web you'll be able to see what sort of products they say and they also say it's handmade so it appears to me pretty good product for not a great deal of money so there you go and uh, I'll catch up with you later once again thanks for tuning in taking a look